سابقین الى ارادته Those who not only implement his command, but they actually proceed in doing what he wants. Maybe not yet expressed as a command. It's not amr, it's irada. There's a big difference between amr and irada. Amr is a command which is expressed in a formal way. But irada might be in the still not expressed. Arada can be in the heart. And we should be people who understand the will of Imam even if it is not spoken, even if it is not expressed. So how can we have that level of understanding and connection with Imam alayhi salam? One key aspect of this is ma'rifah. As much as possible, we should invest on educating ourselves about imams in general, the hujaj of Allah in general, and Imam Mahdi al Jalallah ta'ala faradu sharif in particular. We should not be satisfied with basic information. We should not feel that we can graduate from this important subject by reading few books or taking some lessons in madrasa or listening to some lectures. We should not even be satisfied if we, for example, have lots of programs like celebrations or you know events these are not enough we need very well organized structured understanding of imam of our time we need to read the best books available to learn from the best scholars in the field because the greatest chance for encounter with imam in this time is through ma'rifah there is nothing like ma'rifah, nothing like understanding that can connect you to Imam al -Islam. As I said, there is no place and there is no person that as such represents Imam. It's through your heart and mind that you should connect to Imam all the time and in all circumstances. So we should keep learning, studying, discussing, reviewing, sharing, Answering to the questions, refuting objections, so that we have a fresh and vibrant and strong understanding of Imam of our age. But also, Imam cannot be known unless you try to resemble his character. You cannot know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and disobey him. You cannot know Imam and disobey Imam. You cannot be a follower of Amir al muminin and have akhlaq of Muawiyah. You cannot be a Shia of Hussein and having akhlaq of Yazid. It's impossible. So, at the same time that we add to our understanding of Imam alayhi salam, we should try to develop virtues. A real follower of Imam follows him in his or her character so that his or her character would resemble Imam alayhi salam not ideally or perfectly but at least some resemblance, at least some fragrance of Imam should come from our presence. So much emphasis has been put in our hadith on intezah about obedience. If you read our hadith about intezah, you see the concept of obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to Imam is very much highlighted. Among traits of character, 
that we need to develop so that we have the best encounter with Imam. I would like to mention two, which are very important. One is to overcome selfishness. In my understanding, there is nothing like ego, there is nothing like selfishness that can keep us away from Imam Alayhi No matter what's your age or gender or job or qualifications, with ego, you cannot be close to Imam. Our greatest problems are caused by ego. And there are lots of different types of ego. Ego as a person, ego as a family, as a tribe, as a sect, as ethnicity, any kind of ego. We have to be trained from childhood. And when you are mature, you keep training yourself. So first parents and teachers, but then you yourself should constantly work on your combat with ego. You cannot have ego and be obedient to Imam. You cannot have ego and be all the time with Imam. If you have ego, maybe in the times of ease, maybe in the times of benefiting, you will be with Imam, but not all the time. Not in all trials. And the second thing that I would like to highlight is to wish the best for everyone. The Hujjah of Allah has no ego and wishes the best for everyone. Your soul has to be so generous that in your wish, in your prayer, in your activities, you just want everyone to excel. You want everyone to improve. Everyone to be in the best condition that they have potentiality to be in that condition. So I would like to highlight on these two things. Highlight these two things. Then, there are few ways or aspects that we should try to always think about it, do it, so that we have remembrance of Imam alayhi salam as a manifestation of remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because remembering hujjah of Allah is remembering Allah. Remembering the blessings of Allah is remembering Allah. And because time is very short, I just mentioned at least. And inshallah, maybe another time we can explore more. One is Tabasu. We should call upon Imam. This can be through Ziyarah. We have a very beautiful ziyarah that actually Imam himself taught, Ziyarah to Ali Asi. This ziyarah is taught by Imam and Imam says, whenever you want to pay attention to Allah and to us and through us to Allah, you recite this ziyarah. This is a very good way of remembering Imam and remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There are lots of beautiful ideas in that ziyarah. Dua al-Fajr, Dua al-Qurba, Salat of Imam Zaman. These are few important ways of connecting to Imam by calling upon Imam and by asking Allah through Imam to bless us. In addition to these, your own personal ways of praying for Imam, in your own language, in the way that you feel <coughs> more connected and more related, pray for Imam, give sadaqah for Imam, do something good for Imam. Another thing is to promote 
long before the Imam and remember us for the Imam in a wise way. Sometimes people think that by putting name of Imam everywhere, putting banners in everywhere, we are doing something good. Not necessarily. We have to look at the results. Sometimes actually talking too much can have negative impact. We have to see in a wise way what's the best way to make people love Imam and open their hearts for Imam and connect to Imam. And for different people, for Shia, for Sunni, for non-Muslim, we should have different strategies. For different age groups, we should have different strategies. But in all these things, our aim is to develop more understanding, more openness, and finally more love.